Perhaps you've already heard that on February 4th this year, the Chinese spy balloon was shot down in the ocean off the coast of South Carolina after being forced to deviate from its intended course by heavy winds. According to American authorities, the balloon's equipment was clearly for intelligence surveillance. The U.S. Fleet Forces Command posted many pictures of the enormous wreckage from the balloon being hauled onto a boat on their Facebook page. To determine whether the object was indeed espionage gear, it was brought to be investigated. According to U.S. sources, the balloon is around 200 feet tall with a payload that is the size of a regional airplane and weighs hundreds of thousands of pounds. Though China has stated on several occasions that the balloon reached the U.S. due to force majeure and it was meant only for civilian use. So, is China's claim right? Or was it truly a spy balloon hovering over the U.S.? And what did Elon Musk say about this? Would that affect his relationship with China in the future? Stay tuned till the end, as in this video we are going to find out the answers to all these questions. The balloon's discovery sparked a diplomatic crisis, leading U.S. Security of State Antony Blinken to cancel a weekend trip to China in protest of the irresponsible behavior. A day after being shot down by a fighter aircraft, the remains of a Chinese surveillance balloon were found off the coast of Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. The unusual item was initially tracked by U.S. defense personnel on Thursday, and they waited until it was safely over the sea before shooting it down. Two Navy ships were dispatched to the region since the debris covered seven miles of the Atlantic Ocean. As part of the search operation, the U.S. military has also used unmanned underwater vehicles. Experts think that the wreckage of the balloon might offer the U.S. important insight into Chinese aerial surveillance technology and procedures, enabling them to better understand what the balloon was capable of and how it communicated information. The necessity to protect U.S. workers from potentially hazardous elements, such as explosives or battery components, has made it more difficult to collect the balloon's equipment. Though the most current information contradicts the White House and American military authorities' earlier accounts, which have altered constantly since the balloon's existence was made known when it was discovered above Montana on February 1st. The White House subsequently said that there is no proof linking three flying objects shot out of the sky by the U.S. military over the weekend to suspected Chinese espionage. Chinese authorities have denied that one of their balloons was being used for spying and U.S. and Canadian officials have not yet found or retrieved any debris from the three crashed planes. It will be difficult to ascertain the function or origin of the three other objects that were obliterated above Alaska, Canada, and Michigan until the wreckage is recovered and analyzed, according to John Kirby, a spokesperson for the White House National Security Council. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs of China has criticized the American reaction as a U.S. official has verified to ABC News that U.S. intelligence agencies monitored the Chinese surveillance balloon from its launch in China and watched as it may have unintentionally blown into U.S. territory. The National Security Council at the White House received inquiries about the balloon's planned direction and when it was initially detected on Wednesday from the State Department and the Pentagon, respectively. When told that the balloon was over Montana, President Joe Biden ordered its destruction. However, his military advisors advised against it since it would be too risky to carry out over the land. After receiving information on the Chinese surveillance balloon, senators stated they didn't believe the notion that it may have accidentally flown over the country. The weekend shooting down of a surveillance balloon above Alaska, Canada, and Lake Huron has strained ties between the United States and China. Secretary of State Antony Blinken canceled a trip to Beijing and senior American officials referred to the balloon as a clear breach of international law. The Chinese government responded strongly, expressing strong discontent and vowing appropriate reactions after the Biden administration commended the Pentagon for shooting down a suspected Chinese surveillance balloon off the coast of the United States on Saturday. A planned and legitimate move, the operation was carried out in retaliation for China's unacceptable breach of our sovereignty. The downing of the civilian airliner, according to Chinese Ministry of Foreign Affairs, was obviously overreacting and significantly breaking international practice. 
However, the balloon didn't constitute any physical danger. The Pentagon said earlier this month, and after it was discovered, precautions were taken to prevent foreign information gathering. A major chunk of the balloon was retrieved on Monday, and the payload is 30 feet long. Tuesday's confidential briefing on the event, which the intelligence community views as a leading sign of Chinese spying, was given to every senator. Beijing said the balloon was intended to monitor the weather and had accidentally crossed U.S. airspace rather than being a spy blimp. North American Aerospace Defense Command and Northern Command Chief U.S. Air Force General Glenn Van Herc remarked, We're calling them objects, not balloons, for a reason, refusing to rule out any theory no matter how improbable. Tech billionaire Elon Musk, meanwhile, has added his sarcastic perspective to the destruction of an unidentified object above Lake Huron in Michigan. Following Sunday's destruction of a mysterious object above Lake Huron in Michigan, the head of Twitter made an effort to reassure his followers. Aliens and UFO emojis were used by Mr. Musk in his tweet, which said, Don't worry, just some of my alien pals coming by. Tesla CEO Elon Musk rushed to Twitter to post a joke after the United States shot down an alleged Chinese surveillance balloon off the coast of the United States. In the meme, flying home from the 2009 animated movie Up was seen being shot down. In reaction to a BBC article about the U.S. shooting an airship down over the Atlantic, Musk tweeted this statement. Many Twitter users responded to Elon Musk's message with further humorous memes, and some even referred to him as a, quote, comedian. Very cheeky of you, Elon Musk, a user said. Elon is a better comic on SNL than most, according to another user. It also sparked some controversy concerning his relationship with China. Elon Musk's most recent statement that generated controversy was his suggestion that Taiwan work out a special administrative zone which was received with vehement resistance from both ends of the island's political spectrum. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs emphasized that the Taiwan problem is a matter of domestic affairs in China's response, which was not favorable. The most alarming information provided by Musk is that China is requesting confirmation that he would not sell Starlink in this sovereign territory of China. This is aimed at Taiwan, which is planning to launch a $17 million experimental satellite program for network resilience to maintain the island's central command systems if traditional links are lost. The Starlink network and satellite dispute, Taiwan criticism, and Tesla's China market have caused some tension in Musk's relationship with China during the last several years. Though, in 2018, President Xi Jinping promised to make China the future industrial and technological hub of the world and approved the opening of a Shanghai-based electric car plant by Tesla, Inc., the debut of Tesla piqued interest in electric vehicles, and the 2019 release of the made-in-China Tesla Model 3 helped persuade customers that these cars were a practical substitute for gasoline-powered automobiles. Due to local competitors, complaints about the quality of his vehicles, and the government's assault on big tech, Tesla is seeing an increasingly challenging business climate in China. The Chinese government has proposed stringent rules governing the acquisition of automobile data, restricting the kind of data electric car manufacturers may obtain and preventing them from exporting many data they have collected from users on Chinese roads and highways. Due to what they believe to be authorities' preferential treatment of a foreign automaker, Tesla is up against local rivals. A personal data privacy regulation that went into effect on November 1st may make it more difficult for the corporation to collect digital data from Chinese customers. To store digital information generated from its manufacturing, sales, servicing, charging, and other operations, Tesla has established a data center in China. It is challenging for Elon Musk to get away with it given the size of his Tesla mega factory in Shanghai, the number of automobiles he sells there, and the contacts he has cultivated with the Chinese authorities. Many speculate that with the decline in U.S.-China ties, the spy balloon event and Musk's take on it have put a question mark on the Musk-China relationship too. In case you didn't know, in March 2019, China conducted a nuclear test. China's motivation for the test was its concern that a U.S. missile launched from orbit would destroy its nuclear arsenal and its desire for a prospective ban on space weaponry. So, 
China is keeping itself ready by all means to manifest its power. Well, what do you think about the Chinese spy balloon incident? Do you think Elon Musk's joke about it would affect his relationship with China, influencing the business of Tesla and Starlink in that country? Post your comments in the space provided below. To ensure that you don't miss anything on Tesla or Elon Musk, don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you at the next one. Until then, peace.